Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I have such an exciting haul for you. I am so excited about these plants. I went into Trader Joe's and Ikea and I found such beautiful plants, very healthy, definitely a very different stock of plants. And I'm really excited. Anyway, I have a really exciting haul. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Since I only have one plant from Ikea, well, one set of plants from Ikea. I will start off with them. And here they are. They are Philodendron Brazils, Brazils, and they are two separate plants, but boy, are they gorgeous. I am going to be potting them up together. I don't have a really full Philodendron Brazil anymore because that was one of the plants that got burned outside last year. And so I lost all of my big leaves and I really wanted a small pot of plant that I can just have on a tabletop that looks gorgeous like this. I'm so excited. These were only $2.99 each. They are so beautiful. I am so excited about them. I mean, they are just absolutely dreamy. Look at the variegation on them. Ugh. Pretty, pretty, huh? <laughs> I can't wait to put them right into one pot. I thought about getting three of them so that it could be, um, a little bit more balanced but I realize I can just open up the plant a little bit and then it'll be balanced in the pot so I'm really excited about these next I'm gonna go over to Trader Joe's Trader Joe's just had a shipment yesterday when I went in and they have a whole bunch of small starter parts of starter pots of plants for two to three dollars and ninety nine cents so I'm gonna show you those now okay the first one is what I believe is an Amazonica it has a very very wavy appearance on the sides of the leaves and this, I already have a poly, and I know the poly and the Amazonica um, get, those two names get interchanged, but if I'm not mistaken, the Amazonica and the poly or the African mask are two different plants. Correct me if I'm wrong. They do have different characteristics as far as the waviness on the sides of the leaves for the most part. So anyway, I got this one right here. It was $3.99. I already have a poly, but I really just love the way these leaves look so much. And because it was $3.99. <laughs> okay, that's not a good enough reason. Next, I have this Caparata Grey Luna. And here she is in all of her glory. She's beautiful. When I picked her up, she looked a little crumply, a little bit crumply, but I knew that it was a nice, strong plant. I bought her and now she looks perfect. She, but she, yesterday when I bought her, she was a little bit crumply looking, but I'm really happy that I just got her anyway. This was the most full plant that they had there. And so I chose this one. I took a chance and she really did pay off with that. So again, and the side just says house plants and these are self-watering pots. You see the window on the side right there where you can see how much water is in the pot. So I thought these tiny little self-watering pots were just so cute. I love them. I don't know how much I like the idea of having a peperomia in a self-watering pot because they don't like to stay wet. And so I don't know how much I like that. I don't think I'll keep those in there, but the poly I will, or the Amazonica, I think I will do that. Now here is my next one. This is my Caparata Red Luna and she's gorgeous. Look how pretty, oh, this color is mesmerizing. Look at that. I do have one of these plants, but when I purchased it, it was a rescue from Aldi. And it was actually the pot that I was more interested in because the plant itself, I didn't even think it was going to survive, but it did survive. So I still have it and I may be potting this up with it. But this one right here is, wait a minute. I don't even know if the one that I have upstairs has red stems. I think it may have green stems. I have to check that. This is mesmerizing. When you look at it, it is mesmerizing. It's almost like you just want to keep looking at it and looking deeper and deeper into the darker spots. I love that. It's so gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Next, I have a button fern and I've wanted one of these for a really long time. So when I saw this, I was so excited because I love button ferns. This smells so good. I don't know what it is about this plant. Ever since I picked it up in the store, I've been smelling it. It smells really, really good. So I'm excited about this and the self-watering pot is perfect for this plant. 
I think it needs to be repotted. Most of these need to be repotted. No, this one's good. The roots are not too bad. But I know the um, the other, the caparadas, those both need to be repotted. But I'm so excited about them. Now this next one is one that I've wanted for a really, really long time. And she does need to be repotted. And this is a alocasia bambino. Oh, look how cute she is. Look how tiny and cute her leaves are. I love this plant. And yes, this one was $3.99 as well. They were all of these small pots for $3.99. Now this one, I purchased a number of them. I bought three of these because I really wanted to pot them up together. But because the leaves stay this size, I wanted it to be a really, really full plant. And so I purchased three of them. So I'll be putting them. I already have the pot for them, everything. I think it's going to be so cute all potted up together. It's going to be so gorgeous. Next, I have a Creeping Charlie plant. And I know in some areas, these plants are invasive. It's not that way where I live, but this plant just caught my attention. I love these so much because I love them for hanging baskets outside in my yard. And for the most part, all of my plants are heading out there now. Um, even like where I'm sitting right now, normally I have a lot of plants in this corner, but they are all outside, even though it is only about 64 degrees today, but at nighttime, it's not going below 50. And so I've had them outside and they are all putting on growth already. I am so excited about that. Oh, I do miss my plants being inside the house. I will say I had a little bit of an issue the first morning I woke up and saw that all of my plants were gone inside my house. That was a weird feeling. They were just so, not all of them, but so many of them were not inside the house, but it's okay. In the summertime, I go out more. Today, it's a little bit colder than I would like for it to be. I like to be toasty and warm, but that's okay. <laughs> Back to Mr. Creeping Charlie. And again, another boy plant. This is my Creeping Charlie and he is so beautiful. I love the details on this plant. And this is such an easy plant, which is why it is invasive and considered a weed in most in some areas, like in um, warmer climates, because they will literally put out these runners wherever. If you touch the base of their stems, there is an area for them to develop a, a little root just about anywhere on their stem. And as soon as they come in contact with soil, they start producing some type of root system that just um, takes them and it, they just plant themselves. So this is really nice if you don't live in a climate where this would be invasive. But for me, I love to get plants like this and propagate them and hang them all over my yard. They love the sun, so it'll be perfect for my yard. And along the same line of easy propagation, I picked up this beautiful Tradescantia Zabrina. Is this gorgeous? Oh, I had a really huge one, but I ended up putting it in my greenhouse and it cooked. And so I couldn't, I, I don't have that really big one. I just still have some of the propagations, but I wanted a fresh new plant. And again, I just buy one of these Zabrinas and I just multiply it because they multiply so quickly. And so I don't buy a whole bunch of them to put around my yard. I just buy one and that's it. So this plant right here has, I've already trimmed one little spot. Actually, I didn't trim it. It fell off when it was in the car. I've already repotted it and put it into a little pot. So this is going to become many, many plants. And you can see she is not in want for leaves. She is piled high and gorgeous. And she is, she was $10. These, both of these hanging plants that Creeping Charlie and this Sabrina were both $10. Excellent price. So actually all of the rest of the plants that I have to show you from Trader Joe's, they were $10. So $3.99 or $10. <laughs> Next, I'm trying to get them in hand. Look at these beauties. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Oh, they are gorgeous. I believe these are the Marianne, either the Mary Ann or the Karina. I believe it's the Mary Ann. I think the Karina has a little bit more of a, an elongated leaf, but this is more round. Look how beautiful they are. Look how big and beautiful they are. 
They are in nice big pots and they are gorgeous. These have already been outside when I came home with them. They have pretty much been outside the entire time. They have, this one has opened up one leaf and then it has one that's about to open. And then this one right here opened up one leaf and it didn't open up anything new. Oh, there is a new baby in there. That's not true. There's a new baby in there. Oh, look at that. They're beautiful. Look how pretty they are. So these are going to go into one pot, which is what most of my plants are going to be doing going forward, only because I have so many plants that it's not reasonable for me to think that I can have them all in separate pots. So I'm going to consolidate all of my like plants and some of my like genuses so that I don't have to have so many different pots. And honestly, I love big pots of plant. So it's going to work out very nicely. I'm really looking forward to this. Now, my last plant is in a hanging basket. It's a pothos. It's a Marble Queen pothos. This pothos has taken my breath away. It says Marble Queen, but I think it's more of a Snow Queen, a reverted Snow Queen. But you be the judge. Look at that leaf. Look at this plant. <laughs> this is a beautiful plant. This is a beautiful, beautiful plant. And again, it says Marble Queen, but I think this is more snow than marble. Yes, it does have its reverted vines, but I think this is more snow. Look at this beautiful leaf right here. I love the fact that it has a beautiful little beard, little white beard and a streak in his... Oh, I love her. Oh, she is so beautiful. I couldn't leave her behind. I know I have a Marvel. I know I have a Snow Queen, a couple of them, but... This plant actually gives me Menjula vibes. But honestly, I'm going to tell you the way I felt when I saw this in the store. When I saw this in Trader Joe's, I felt it was $10. But what I felt as if I was seeing was a Monstera elbow that cost $10. That's how excited I was when I saw this plant because she's so beautiful. Look at the variegation on her. The genes of this plant are just amazing. They're amazing. I don't know where these plants were grown. Let me see if I can double check here. Oh boy, I have dirt all over me. <laughs> it's okay. Trailing stems are thick with glossy green leaves streaked with white. Wow, you are not kidding. It prefers low light. Mm -mm. Moderately moist soil. 62 to 80. Okay, now well, I'm not going to really go on that. Bloomiq.com. Okay, that's who produced these. It doesn't say where that was from, where it's grown, but um, Bloom ID. No, Bloomiq.com is the source for this plant. Grown for Trader Joe's in the United States. Eight inch foliage basket. This plant is so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I can't even, I can tell you right now, I'm looking in the camera. It's more beautiful in person than it is on the screen. And on the screen, it looks amazing. But in person, it is divine. It is so gorgeous. I love the all green leaves. I love the variegated green leaves. I, look at this all green leaf right here. Look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. And then this whole green vine right here. Is that where this one is coming from? No, that's not coming from this. This is coming from this vine right here. This, um, I'm looking to see where this leaf right here is coming from, but it's coming from a variegated vine. This is an all green vine. And I'm not mad at her at all. These leaves are gorgeous. You cannot deny how gorgeous she is. And then you have this one right here, 
This looks very Manjula. Oh. And then over here, look at this one. Look at that. Did I just crack that? Oh, clumsy Rachel, here I am. Clumsy, clumsy. Oh, I just found another one that's gorgeous. Look at this one. Full effect. Look at it. I love her. She's so beautiful. There was no way I could leave that store without this plant. Look at that. Look at that beautiful leaf. They are all beautiful, but to say the least, the, the overall plant is just amazing. And I am definitely going to be keeping her inside. She's going to be one of my plants that will have to receive rainwater, which I have been collecting a lot of rainwater. We got a lot of rain the other day and I have one, two, three vessels outside. No, four vessels outside that I collected rainwater in. And then I filled up my pitchers and I have a big uh, drinking, drinking bottle. Like, you know where you can refill your drinking bottles for your machines that you turn upside down. I bought one of those to put my rainwater in and because I don't know how else to store my rainwater. I need rainwater for my spider plants and all of my more sensitive plants that don't necessarily like to have uh, tap water like my calathea. And of course, this right here, she needs to have a flush of rainwater when she, whenever she can. So I'm not really sure how to store my rainwater. My water jug is definitely a great idea, but um, and it does hold three gallons. So I think maybe I will go back and just get a couple more of those and just hope I'll, I get enough water in the three of those by having the nine gallons. I think that should be enough to have nine gallons of spring water because I've actually, I had a surplus. It was still raining and all of my containers were filled. And so what I did was I took some of it and put it into all and put it into my, um, my humidifier. I put some rainwater into my humidifier so that I would have as much rainwater as possible because I hate to run out of rainwater because a lot of my plants really, really like to have the rainwater. Anyway, if you have a way that you are storing rainwater, if you collect rainwater, um, I would really appreciate any tips that you could give me because it's, I need the rainwater, but at the same time, it's, it's getting a little bit difficult to have all of the plants and then the jugs for the rainwater. So just want to do have the least amount of clutter as possible, especially right now where all of my plants are out. I'm able to regroup and do everything a little bit differently in my home. And so I just want to make sure I'm making the best use of my space as possible. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by. This was so much fun. I was really excited about sharing these plants with you because I knew you would love them. I knew you would love my beautiful Manjula baby. She's not a Manjula, my Marble Queen. I knew you would love my beautiful Marble Queen baby because she's so gorgeous and she wanted to say hi to you for about two days now. And I couldn't talk about her before because I was just so overwhelmed by her beauty. Literally, I tried to do this video yesterday so that you guys can go out as soon as possible to see if you could find it and I couldn't. I was speechless. I had no words to describe how beautiful this plant is and what it made me feel like when I was there and I saw it and it was just sitting there. And then she came home with me. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in another video coming up very soon. Bye guys.